Oh 
day three of the seven days prayer stretch with Apostle Judah Zubairu. Wherever you are around the world, God bless you. We are delighted to have you join us tonight. Please don't forget to share the link with your family, with your friends, so everyone will partake of what God is doing on this mountain. For the past two days we have been here, we have seen testimonies, we have experienced God in a way we have never seen before. So please don't joke with this moment. Wherever you are again, please share the link with your family, share the link with your friends, so everyone will be a partaker of what God is doing. At this moment, we that are here, let's rise on our feet and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Wherever you are right now, wherever you find yourself, just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Just begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray in the Spirit. The Bible says pray in the Spirit at all times. Lift up your voice and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Open up your heart right now. Today is day three. Today is day three. The Bible says in Hosea that on the third day he raised us up. If your heart is expectant tonight, lift up your voice and begin to pray in the spirit. Open up your heart. Shut up, come down. 
Show yourself strong. Show yourself strong. Show yourself strong. Show your Aya. Show yourself. Oh Jesus. Even in my own belief. Show yourself. Show yourself. Ah, in my own belief.
if he can tell a man, if he can tell a man to speak and dry bones come back to life, my God is powerful. My God is powerful. Oh, I'm a thousand. to that foolish instruction given by the prophet of God but when he obeyed he gained his healing please whatever instruction will come from the altar don't joke with it I'm begging you no matter how it might seem it might look it might not seem as if it makes sense but please obey because God is speaking through a servant and make the most of the opportunity I have the opportunity and honor again to welcome the man of God my man of God a man that God is using. Ayaka Dadaba. Me, I'm the first partaker. I don't know for anybody. I don't joke with anointing. I don't joke with grace. I don't joke with grace at all. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together as I welcome God's servant. Apostle Judas Zibai. Ribaka Shanti de Maski Antakabas. I cannot make it on. Unless you take hold, I cannot do this on my own. Unless 
Rataba. Prêt, prêt, prêt. Listen. Yes, we will pray. We will pray. Tonight we will pray. We are here to pray, to pray, to pray. Listen to me. Listen to me one minute. One minute. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Don't worry. You know, I don't know if it was it was last Sunday or two Sundays ago where we were at the outpour experience with Minister Samuel Melville. And on my way to the event, God gave me a revelation about the outpour. You know, usually when we think about the outpour, we imagine a scenario of heaven opening and then blessings and giftings from God will flow from heaven coming down upon us. Usually when we think about the outpour, we think about, you know, a realm of glory wearing grace flows from heaven and comes upon us you know but there's another deeper dimension of an outpouring an outpouring wherein you have a depth within you do you understand what i'm saying that you've attained a level of depth within that from your depth something flows from within you and it comes out it says out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water that is the true outpour because whatever it is that God is going to give God has already given us from heaven you understand what I'm saying it has already flowed from heaven all the giftings and the blessings. the Bible says that God has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies he has blessed us already the true outpour that you should you should pray for is the one that flows from within you coming outside that the reality that is embedded in your spirit will become a reality outwardly that you will not only be you will not only be a man of revelations inwardly, but the revelations will bear fruit outward. It says that by their fruits, what is their fruit? Their fruit is what shows outward. I hope I'm talking to somebody here. You see, so that's why we're entering into a depth today. Today is a day that we enter into deeper dimensions. That from a depth, an outpour will begin to happen. The only proof that you are filled is when you overflow. If you are not overflowing, then you are not filled. The proof that you are truly filled with the Spirit of God is when there is an overflow that out of the abundance of that which is inwards, something outward represents what you truly carry on the inside. Some of us that we are here and even you listening online, this is a time, it's your time for an outpouring. It's, an, it's a time for an overflow. It is a time for that which is from within you will begin to bubble, 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 and there will be an overflow that it flows outwardly. You have been retaining it on the inside for too long. There is so much grace and anointing that you have cultivated in years. And this is your moment now. We are going to pray tonight. Do you understand what I'm saying? We are going to pray tonight. You are going to say that God, out of my depth. It says, there's a sound coming from my depth. This world will hear. That only you truly satisfies. There's a sound coming from my death. This world will see that you're the only way the truth in life. Rivers of living water. You are the fountain that won't run dry. Oh, rivers of living water. You are the fountain that won't run dry. Oh, rivers of living water. 
There is a fountain that won't run dry. Ah, whoa! <laughs> Spring of living water. <laughs> I carry a fountain that won't run dry. <laughs> whoa! <laughs> I have a fountain that won't run dry. Ah, you are a fountain that won't run dry. Ah, out of my belly now flows rivers of living water. Out of my belly now flows rivers of living water. <laughs> Out of my belly now flows rivers of living waters. I am a <laughs> Come on, sing it. Say, Out of my belly. Say, out of my belly now flows rivers of living water. It says it will be in you a fountain. If you knew the gift of God and he who asked you for a drink. <laughs> if only you knew the gift of God. Out of my belly, come on, rivers. Can you begin to make that decree that out of my belly, come on, Latte Kabashi Takabas, Ekan to the Kabas, Latte Kabandika, and overflow, and overflow, and overflow, and overflow, rivers of living waters, rivers of living waters, a fountain that will never run dry. I carry that fountain. Dryness is not my portion. I am not a dry land. Ah, uh, some of you will not catch this revelation. I am not a dry land. It will be in you. A river. It says on the last and greatest day of the feast, Jesus stood and said in a loud voice, He says, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. Whoever believes in me, as the scripture had said, streams of living water will flow from within him. I am the Kaba. There is a stream that is being formed within you right now. I am among the Kabash. Out of my belly. I am a Ida Kabashi Katiriba. Landa Kabaka Shitiri. Landa Kabako Sikadi. Landa Kamoshi Katiribi. Riba Kashunda Nibaka. Rabaka. Yes! 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 Elanda Kabaka Shudaba, Ribaka Shudaliba, Rabaka Shudaliba, Ribaka Shudaliba, Landa Kabaka Shikati, Lakabaka Shitaliba, Ribaka Shikatiba, Landa Kama, Rabaka Baka today, Linda Kamaka Suki, Rabaka Shutaliba, Rabandika. Shut up, Eva. Eva, 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 Eva
about the fountain that does not run dry there is someone that you are watching online right now it's like you've been experiencing dryness for years what do I mean by dryness dryness is like everything pertaining to your life is dry that whatever you try to get involved in it does not work out it never works out whether it's business whether it's traveling whether it's even in the place of relationships however you try things just don't work out it's like every area of your life that is supposed to produce fruit is dry tonight the Lord has remembered you tonight the Lord has remembered you there to every seven season of famine there is a seven season of plenty for every season of the Bible says it says weeping it endures for a night but there's always joy in the morning I don't know who I'm talking to I don't know your name but you're listening to me you're under the sound of my voice right now you've been experiencing dryness for too long in as much as the scripture says that whatever your hands finds to do will prosper but that's that has not been the case for you it has been the opposite that as soon as you get involved in something all that people will be doing it and it will be going well but for you it never works out do you understand what I'm saying now I'm talking to you this is your moment you are stepping out of that reality there is a new door that has opened for you from this moment henceforth 
if you are the person that I'm talking to, do it in the chat. Tell, let me know that it is you. Let me know that it is you so that after this time, we'll be able to talk and even pray some more. But I want to announce to you that by the mercy of God, God has transformed your destiny. Your destiny was supposed to be a very miserable one. That has been the result of your life for so long. But by virtue of you being a part of this encounter tonight, God has transformed your story. If you read in the scriptures, it's in, it's in Isaiah 32 verse 15. It says, until the spirit is poured upon us from on high. He says, and the wilderness becomes a fruitful field. And the fruitful field is counted as a forest. This will be the progression of your life. That that wilderness area comes to an end. You are now a fruitful field. Ah. I am very excited for this person. That season of pain and suffering and sorrow has ended. It says the wilderness becomes what a fruitful field, and the fruitful field what becomes a forest. <laughs> now, 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 when I talk about this, what I hear is the word multiplication. I hear multiplication. This tells me that for all the years that, that seems to have been wasted, God was just setting you up for a major breakthrough. It seemed as if it was set back. All those dry periods of your life seemed like it was set back. It was just a setup for what God is about to do in you. I want to assure you, like I said, drop it in the chat. You can send a message. I show, I'm sure we have a number on the screen. So if you have a testimony or something that you want to share, please send a WhatsApp message to that number on the screen. There is someone else we want to pray for. But before that, please turn your Bibles with me to the book of Luke. I want to show you something very briefly. And then we pray for this particular individual. We believe that the presence of the Lord is with us. There is a healing grace here right now. You have your Bibles with you. Turn to Luke 8. You have your Bibles with you. I'm hoping you do. Luke 8. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be reading for too long. So please, listen. Luke 8, I read from verse 40. It says, So it was when Jesus returned that the multitude welcomed him, for they were all waiting for him. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue, and it, he fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house, for he had an only calling upon the name of the Lord. Not all of us are touching God. Do you hear what I'm saying? There are two things that can happen to a man when you encounter God. It is either... God touches you or you touch God. <laughs> there are two dimensions. The one dimension is that God remembers you and that you are favored enough that at an appointed time, maybe it's your blessed day or you just happen to be in the area where the Spirit of the Lord is moving and then God touches you. The finger of the Lord comes upon you. But there is another area. There is another level that is available to every man. That is the realm where you can ascend to a place where you can touch God multitudes were pressing in it's like what is happening right now multitudes are online <laughs> am i lying lots of people might be praying right now some people might be either but there are those who are desperate do you know one of the quickest ways to access god it is through desperation probably the quickest way the bible says that god does not ignore the cry of the destitute Desperation is one of the best ways to tap into the healing grace of God. That out of that place of desperation, this says that this woman for 12 years, she has spent all her belongings, all her wealth, all the connection that she had for 12 years. Can you imagine that? For 12 years, you have suffered. It's not like you don't believe in God. It's not like you don't believe in the supernatural. You have tried all you have. This person that I'm talking to right now that we're about to pray for, that is your story. For years now, you have tried, you have spent money, you have met men of God. You have sought out for prayer. You have gone to doctors, physicians, all these people. And you are now at the point where it seems as if you are now giving up on God, that your situation cannot be changed. But I want to announce to you that it is the time wherein you are about to touch God. <laughs> if you could only, this is the statement that you should be making that you have never made before. You thought men of God were the ones to pray for you. 
not every man of God can touch you. People, no one can touch God on your behalf. Someone can pray for God to touch you, but to touch God, that's what you do by yourself. I can pray that, oh God, remember this lady and touch her. That one is a different area. When God wants to, he will do it. But there's an area where Jesus was not, he was not coming to her. Who was he going to? Was it Jairus? Yes, that's where he was heading to. He was on his way to do the will of the Father. This woman was not in his plan. She was not part of the agenda. It was essentially not her time. But she made it her time. Ah, somebody did not catch this one. It was not her time to be healed. She probably would have went on for another 12 years. Waiting for sir. She was determined and she was desperate. She said that this one has to, if I could, oh, I, I don't need him to come to my house. <laughs> yeah. She said, I don't need him to what to come to my house. There are those who have the connection to bring Jesus to their house. She said, I don't need him to come. To, if he passed now, yeah. I just need to touch the hem. I don't need him to wait for me. I don't need him to turn to me. I don't need him to lay hands on me. I don't need him to speak a word. I just need to touch him. You are about to touch God in a way that you've never done before. I am talking to you. There is a lady right now. You are in the chat. You know what I'm talking about. I want to announce to you that daddy, several the years of suffering and pain, the years that you've been experiencing this severe lack in the area of health, God has remembered you. Why? Because of you being a part of us. This is the third day. You being a part of us, you have finally touched God. You have now come to a place where you, where you have said, now I've tried every way, it, does, it did not work. I am going to touch God by myself. I am going to touch God by myself. We're going to pray for this person. It's a lady specifically. It's a lady. I feel the healing touch of God coming upon you right now as you speak. Wherever you are right now, there is a healing anointing that is, that is taking over your space. You know, healing is atmosphere dependent. You have connected here and you are in this atmosphere. The healing grace is made available to you right now. As you are watching online and as you have been praying, the word of the Lord to you is that you have finally touched me. You have finally touched me and you're healing. You will give your testimony. We will announce your testimony by the special grace of God. It is happening for you. It is happening for you as we pray. It is happening for you as we pray. Our Father in heaven, we pray for this sister. You know her more than I do. You know her situation specifically. It would have also been possible that she would have went on and on and on struggling with this same condition but here you are in a day as this that you have finally allowed her to touch you i know that many people have been calling upon you in these days that we've been praying but her voice for some reason has pierced into the heavens and her voice has has appeared unto you as a sweet smelling servant that you now find it within your purview to heal her Father, we connect to that which you are doing right now. There are those of you, listen to me right now. <laughs> there are some things that I, I we would share and we would understand before these seven days end. You understand? There are some of you, as you are thanking God on behalf of someone that God is healing, you would find out that immediately your own healing will come. <laughs> Somebody, maybe you are on the live right now, you are saying that, ah, well, let me let the man of God mention my own case. Don't worry. As God has remembered someone and someone has been delivered, as you are thanking God on behalf of that person, your own is happening immediately. That is the proof that God is going to do it. That now it will not even be because of the word of the man of God. It will be because God thought it fit for you to be healed and transformed. Wherever you are right now, I want you to lift up your voice. You lift up your voice wherever you are. Lift up your voice. There is none. All he asked of me. There is none besides him. Neither is there any other God like me. There is none. You are the Lord. 
that you learn me you are the Lord my online you are not praying for yourself but you are trusting God on behalf of your father you're trusting God on behalf of your father you are trusting God for the healing grace to come upon him and the reason why God has remembered you is because you are praying not from a place of selfishness but you're praying from a place of genuine love for your father and you are asking in this moment that as we're praying in tongues that God, please touch my father. He cannot leave me now. He cannot leave me now. Oh Lord, please heal him. As we're talking right now, your father is in a critical condition medically. And you are expecting God to move on his behalf. And he cannot come online. That's why you are here. I want to tell you that we're joining our faith with yours. And we all just hold hands together where we are, those of us present here. Just hold hands and let us join our faith as we pray on behalf of this sister. You are joining this prayer on behalf of your father for the healing grace to come upon him. The Spirit of the Lord says that I have remembered him. Don't worry. My healer. Come on, say, you send your word. You sent your word. And as we stand in the gap on behalf of this man and his daughter we are praying Lord we pray for your healing grace to locate him my healing you sent your word and you Say you are the Lord. in you for a touch father we pray that that touch will not miss them tonight we pray that wherever they are connecting with us from from everywhere across the world father we pray that your healing grace that the touch of god will locate them father whatever it is that is their heart's desire father those that are trusting you for healing those who need deliverance father we pray that you will reach out to them even now 
that you would reach out to them even now. That you would reach out to them even now. That you would reach out to them even now, we pray. If you are the person that we're, that we're praying for, please let us know. Please let us know. I believe that we still have the WhatsApp number. You can send us a message if you don't want to do it on the chat so that we would know and we would keep praying. But we believe that God has done it. If he talk, huh? he go do in what If it's so calm, it go down. something that God is leading me that we're going to pray for tomorrow. Some of us, it is time for our destiny partners to show forth. We're going to pray specifically for that tomorrow because we need to go right into that deeply tomorrow. Some of us, you have entered into a season where your destiny partners need to start manifesting. And the Lord is telling me to announce to you that you have entered into that era right now. That they're going to start showing up. 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 You have been developed. God has been developing you for so long. And now you have stepped into that season wherein they need to start manifesting. We're going to be praying specifically for destiny partners. For destiny relationships. There's some of you that even my money is still in your hands. <laughs> Hello, there are some of you that the blessing, the financial blessing of people is hidden in your hands. Because you are yet to manifest. The financial blessings of people is hidden in your hands. There are some of you, the, the security of certain people's destiny is still in your hands. So you have entered into an area where you need to manifest. Why? Not only because of you, but because of all the people connected to you. There are people depending on you. Hallelujah. The Bible says that the creation lies in honest expectation for the manifestation of the sons of God. Tomorrow we're going to pray that for those of us gathered online and those of us here physically who are sons of God, we must manifest this year. Starting with me. I thought someone would claim it. I will be the first partaker of that fruit. First partaker of that fruit. Starting with me. Now all the prayers that we're praying, these are not these are not thought um, you know thoughtfully curated prayers. We are praying as the Spirit of God leads. We are praying that which the, the Lord places in my mouth to speak. That's what we're saying. He says, so please follow us keenly as we're here. We've done today's the third day, I believe. Today's the third day. We have how many more days? We have four more days. Four more days. From tonight, the testimonies are going to start showing up. 
she, the first and second day we were praying, we were ascending. Like I told you, I repeat again for the third time. We don't pray from our rooms. We pray from a realm. Okay? So we have ascended into that again. That's why starting from, as we've started today, even tomorrow, what we'll be making a decrease. We're going to be proclaiming things. The Bible says that there is life and death. It says it is, it is hidden in your tongue. It is wrapped up in your tongue. So that means that from tomorrow, since we have now ascend, ascended into the game, third day, hallelujah, the third day we have now ascended, we've been praying in tongues, we have entered into a game, we're going to start making bold decrees. If you are shy, then don't join us. We don't want shy people. The Bible says the righteous are, is as bold as the lion. So starting from tomorrow, we are going to be making bold decrees. We're going to be making utterances by the Spirit of God. We're going to be speaking into our destinies. Do you hear what I'm saying now? We're not just going to be um, proclaiming possibilities. We're going to be proclaiming realities. Are you connected with what I'm saying right now? Starting from tomorrow, you are going to speak into your life. For too long, you've been praying for men of God to speak into your life. You are also a man of God. You are also a woman of God. It says the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead, it dwells in you. The very same spirit. Hallelujah. Am I talking to somebody? So starting from tomorrow, don't miss it. Join us online. We're going to be making bold proclamations into our destiny. There are some things that must shift. There are some things that are going to start shifting in this moment. Am I talking to somebody? Can you lift up your hands and just thank God for what he has done tonight? Thank God for what he has done tonight. Uh, thank God for what he has done tonight. 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 May you lift up your voice and thank him. He says with prayer, supplication, and thanksgiving. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Thank him for what he has done tonight. Thank him for what he has done tonight. Thank him for what he has done tonight. Somebody thank him, thank him, thank him. <laughs> thank him for what he has done tonight. Hey, everyday new songs. I don't know if some people caught what has been happening. You know from the first day we've been having new songs. Some everyday new song. I don't know what is happening. By the end of these seven days we will release an album. Because every day new song. It says, he puts a new song in my mouth to sing. <laughs> Every day, a new song. On, uh, some people will be thinking that I wrote a song and I came with it to come and sing. I don't know where this song is. Yesterday, something happened. Yesterday, I sang the song that the Spirit of God gave me. And two minutes after, I could not remember the song again. I had to start asking people. I was asking, ah, Abbas, do you remember that song that I was just singing? No one remembered. I had to go back home and look at the life for me to remember the song that God gave me yesterday. Every day, new song. You know what I want to admonish you to do? You don't have to be a musician to write songs. Do you know that? Am I, am I talking to you? You don't have to be a what? A musician to write songs. He says he puts a new song in my mouth to sing, not in the musician's mouth to sing. When you wake up every morning, sing a new song, even if it makes sense to people or not, even if it is sweet or not, just sing it to God. Do you remember the song that I was singing yesterday? Can we sing it as we end? We can sing it as we end. Let us stand. Let me show you the song. We sang it last night. <laughs> God is giving us new songs. New songs. Hey. Ah. Ah. Let us stand. Let us stand. Give me, give me tempo. Give me tempo. Give me some energy. Give me some. Hey. This one is called Open Up. Open Up. This one with me. Are you ready? Come on, come closer, come closer, guys. Those of you at the back, come closer, come closer. Hey, come, come, come. I have said it to the rams of the Lord.